It seems almost biblical. Massive flooding in China, India, and Pakistan, record heat waves in Russia, and ice sheets that have been in place for thousands and thousands of years falling apart. It's enough to make you think something even bigger is happening, and scientists say that's the case. These events are not um, disconnected. The events are stunning. Hundreds of people killed in China where flooding triggered landslides. Moscow has endured record heat that has ignited hundreds of wildfires and raised the city's death rate. Even parts of Europe have seen extreme flooding that has torn apart communities. Carl says all of this is not a sign that global warming is coming, but rather that it's already here. To date, this year, from January through July, on average, global temperatures are warmest since we've begun, begun keeping records back uh, 1880. The U.S. isn't being spared from this. It's really, really hot. Yeah, like super hot. The temperature in the Dallas area has been in the hundreds every day so far in the month of August. Families have been flocking to water parks like this, and they're looking forward to a cold front this weekend that is supposed to drop the mercury down to the 90s. That would be wonderful. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I can deal with a 10 or triple digit degree, but, um, but having it in the 90s is obviously preferable. Scientists though say this is something we should get used to. The kinds of events we're seeing are typical of what we'd expect to occur more frequently. That is more record-breaking heat, uh, record-breaking heavy precipitation events. He says it's still not exactly clear what the future holds, but that it's reasonable to begin expecting more of what we're experiencing right now. John Belmont, The Associated Press.